if you're like me, plan your week and you decide that on this particular night you, you want to go and paint uh, at night and uh, you pick your location and uh, this is maybe your first time you're a beginner night uh, planner artist and and you found a babysitter and you line up everything and you you went to for for dinner early so you wouldn't be hungry and then you go out to paint and it looks like it's going to be the perfect night and it starts raining and it washes away your daytime plans if that is you then stick around because painting at night could be very rewarding but it, it could be a little bit tricky for a beginner and, and and this happened to me as i show you in the video you'll see how i started my day and and then all of a sudden started raining but i pressed on because that's what uh plein air art is all about it's an adventure on this video if you're unsure about what type of paints to use or how do you see in the dark um, how do you keep the bugs at bay I got you covered. I'm gonna tackle 10 beginner struggles for creating nighttime masterpieces. So stay until the end where I answer all uh, the most common questions when it comes to painting at night. The sky is pretty, it's pretty cloudy, but over here, it looks more promising. Sometimes we get the most beautiful sunset after the rain, so this may be a uh, blessing in in disguise because I could uh, paint the water reflections that's always good all I need is a uh, good solid hour so I can I, uh, get my sketch done and I can get uh, the good the colors that I need and maybe then I can do a more finished piece in the studio well here's the building I'm going to now answer uh, some of the most uh, popular questions that beginners have uh, when they uh, decide to venture out and paint under under the stars. Well, the first question is, what kind of paints should you use? And uh, my recommendation is, uh, even though that um, you can pretty much use acrylics, oils, watercolors, gouache. My my preferred material to use are oil. You want to use the paints that don't dry out so quickly. If you're a planner artist that likes to go out often, you don't want to be switching between acrylics and gouache and watercolors and switching your brushes and switching your systems. You want to keep your system consistent. So oils are the most versatile. I was in an art festival this past weekend and I had my box out in the sun and I was painting and the paintings were not drying up. I had full sun on my palette for a good 45 minutes and they did not dry up compared to let's say acrylics. Now what color should you bring? For night scenes I would say get um, some cool colors like blues, purples, uh, Meridian. Um, also, put some warm colors like uh, yellow ochre and uh, different assortments of, of yellows because you want to capture the artificial lights and you want to use warmer tones when you're painting the landscape. Um, try to keep your your uh, palette uh, limited though. Don't don't bring don't bring way too many. Because when you're painting at night, it is um, it is harder to find the tubes if you need to refill your your palette, uh, and sometimes you may even get them confused. Uh, um, your light source is not is not ideal. All right. Question number three is how to see in the dark. So your eyes will adjust to the darkness over time. You can use a headlamp as long as it's not overly bright it, it will help you see what you're painting and 
And then but when you're looking at your subject matter, uh, and I think this is one of the benefits of photography, because if you take a photo, your, your darks will turn black, but your eye, when you're outdoors, and your eye will adjust to the darkness of the area. And that will help you get better colors by just observing them directly. So how long would it take to paint the night scenes? And since you're working with less light, it will probably take you longer than a daytime uh, planner painting. I usually prepare myself for any planner outing to be at least three hours. So it all depends on the complexity of the scene. So if you're a beginner painter, pick a simple subject, an easy subject, maybe a street lamp that is illuminating a car or or a tree and, and maybe the entrance of a restaurant uh, that there's some light and there's some dark if you're a beginner I, I wouldn't try to do a skyline or an aerial view of the city or uh, something like that uh, because it's um it will be a lot more complex all right question number five is what kind of easel should you use and i use my box with a uh, lightweight easel um, you can even use a lap easel if you want. So if you want more stability or if you're in an uneven terrain, if you're doing a street scene, um, be mindful of pedestrians at night or, and also be mindful of, of traffic. People don't see you. That could be a good or a bad thing. <laughs> so, um, if, especially if, if cars can't see you and if you're too close to the street, then that, can be a hazard so yep so be be mindful of that okay now um how do you keep bugs or critters at bay especially at night uh, if you have a headlamp or if you have your clamp lamp sometimes you get bugs flying around your light and and they will get on your on your canvas or on your panel i use a simple bug spray and and that usually keeps them away and uh, also where i live there's a lot of mosquitoes so i always keep them handy during the day and at night and that leads me to the question about um, clothing and i will say depending on where you live and your location I, I live in a warm weather and sometimes it gets cool at night so just wear layers um, you can um, also wear um, dark clothing that will help you see your canvas or your panel better when it's in low light because it doesn't reflect the light of your clothes on it. As you saw in the beginning introduction of my video, what do you do if it rains? So you just got to be prepared. Uh, have a um, maybe a foldable canopy, um, an umbrella or find a location maybe it's not your preferred location where you can maybe start your painting and you may not even be in the, at the right angle that you want to paint but you can start your painting and sketch it out until the rain passes be careful with lightning rain really doesn't affect your painting that much if you get a little bit of water on your surface it's okay it will dry up it won't mix with your oils um, if you get it on your palette it's okay uh, matter of fact i have a video i went out and, and i forgot my linseed oil I, I was in a far remote location so and i said well maybe if i mix it with water i'll thin it down i mean and i know that's not that's not the best solution but i was on a pinch <laughs> so i said i'm gonna try water and as you probably can imagine water and oil don't mix and nothing happened i couldn't make the paint work so so unless it's not pouring rain and you're swimming in water you will probably be okay another question that i get asked a lot is it safe to paint at night alone I generally not recommend to paint alone at night, especially if you're in an unfamiliar territory. Uh, it's better if you let if you go in a group. I will that that will be my first recommendation. If you go with a friend, uh, 
it is better to also let someone know where, where you're going to be painting. You can also join a uh, night uh, painting class. Uh, that's also good for safety. So just be mindful of your surroundings. All right. The last question that I am going to answer tonight is how to capture the feeling of night in the painting. Try to focus on capturing the mood and the atmosphere of the night scene rather than getting hung up on like realistic details. Use loose brush strokes. Pay attention to where are the light sources, where they come in and how they're casting the shadows because now you don't have the sun. So you have multiple light sources from different lamps and that's why I mentioned in the beginning, keep it, uh, keep a simple composition. Hopefully just one light source. Night planner painting is all about experimentation. If you live in a hot climate, it's great because you can stay for a longer period without having to battle the heat. And also you don't have the light changing constantly because there's no sun. So you're relying on artificial light. So you can stay a little longer. The scene will stay similar. Uh, if you're doing a bar scene, the light will still be consistent. Those will be my recommendations. Uh, I hope you enjoy your night outing. Take it as an adventure. Don't be too hard on yourself. Be safe. Bring back some beautiful paintings. Hang around your walls. Give them to your friends and family. And create that masterpiece that you've always wanted.